Most cloud service users adopt one of two strategies. They either choose package solutions or use raw resources. A package solution is standardized and can be used with little customization. Raw resources include a virtual environment for developing, testing, and running digital products and services. These resources can be used to develop IT products and services in-house. Within these two broad approaches, consumers can choose from at least three basic types of cloud service. Infrastructure as a Service or IaaS, Platform as a Service or PaaS, and Software as a Service or SaaS. IaaS provides technology components, such as standardized infrastructure services on a pay-as-you-use or reserved-use basis. For servers that can be provided using commoditized components in the cloud, IaaS provides an alternative to investing in on-site resources that are costly to purchase and maintain. PaaS provides an environment within which systems and solutions can be built. The consumers of these services tend to be developers. Basic functionality is provided, which saves time and money on writing extensive code from scratch. PaaS services are used to build and manage unique applications using standard platform features and functionality. SaaS provides applications that can be used as they are, or with limited customization to suit a particular consumer. SaaS provides quick access to standard functionality for a particular area. This software can be accessed securely from anywhere and on any device that has an internet connection. These services are generally sold through subscriptions. Each of the three basic service models requires different levels of responsibility for the layers of the technology architecture. This in turn affects the organizational design, including the positioning and structure of an IT team within the consumer organization. Typically, IaaS offers computing, network and storage as a service. PaaS offers data, function, container and code as a service. And SaaS offers enterprise resource planning, customer relationship management, office automization as a service and translation as a service. An important consideration for SaaS services is whether they'll be customized and how much customization will be allowed. A heavily customized SaaS service may hinder the flexibility of the service and the organization's ability to benefit from frequent updates to functionality and features. Standard services are offered through catalogs and there's little or no room for negotiation about their features and performance. Non-standard services include cloud migration planning, support and consulting, and SaaS customization.